Welcome to Future Focus. I'm your host, Diva Dion Carreter, and my guest today is another Dion by the name of Dion Carter. How are you? Hi, fine. Happy to be here. All right. So, man, you have, um, a, wow, just like a lot of stuff to talk about. And um, when I um, ran across you, as you are one of my good friends um, who have like come into your own, um, and created a line of, um, you know, products and um, natural products, right? Yes, correct. Natural, pure, pure natural products. Mm -hmm. Right. So, um, which brought me, brought to my attention today, like, oh my God, there are like so many of us women who have to reinvent ourselves, um, specifically because um, the job market is really crazy nowadays and um, people are losing jobs, living of unemployment, having to move. And so um, a lot of us have had to reinvent ourselves in creating positions and that of what you did. So um, you should tell us about Red Kitchen Sink, just a little bit about it. Well, I will. first of all, Red Kitchen Sink, um, the, the, the name Red came from my mother because we're from New Orleans, born and raised uptown and they called her Red, and Red used to stand at the kitchen sink. She grew herbs, she mixed herbs, and she made all kind of salves, and wow. I mean, people from down here will know that because that's what we do. But um, she taught me everything I knew about herbs, and my God, she's almost 70 years old, and she still looks great, and I want to be like her, and I learned everything from her, so there, hence we just said Red's Kitchen Sink. Um, wow, amazing. So you actually grew up, um, you guys had a, a garden and everything? We had a garden. We grew up uptown New Orleans, um, just off Napoleon Avenue, and we had a garden in our little space, um, what we call the backyard. <laughs> <laughs> we right. had a garden, and we grew herbs and everything that you could think of. Mommy grew it, and um, she used different herbs to heal different ailments. Right. And hence the name Red's Kitchen Sink. Right in the kitchen, Mom just did it. She made it all come together, and wow. that's what we're doing today. We making it all come together. Wow, because you have gone um, from hair to... Um, body, face, just all the components of a woman really feeling good about herself and um, some of the things that we need in the world being as stressful as it is um, and having to um, make um, different moves and rejuvenating your soul, you know, um, we need like a lot of um, different things and the world has come into um, natural yes. everything so I think that that's really like a good, yes. um, it's a good time for you to even um, come out come out with that. So prior to that, tell us what you were doing. <laughs> prior to that, I was a nurse. Wow. Um, I'm still a nurse, mm -hmm. and but I took a, um, a left turn because I wanted to study more chemistry, um, learn everything I could about the herbs because I knew it already naturally, but just taking a, a left turn, um, learning what chemists, you know, the chemistry of the herbs, what makes them actually work, um, honing my craft. Right. Um, that's what I did, and I just brought it all together. Um, brought nursing, and just just combined the whole realm. We've always thought of natural right. as wonderful. So before this whole natural craze, we've been doing herbal medicine, making herbs for people with cancer, um, just right. to make them feel better. Giving it to them as gifts. Ten years ago, growing it out of the garden and just making it. So um, right now. With the market being as it is, the job market, um, the economy, you have to know how to reinvent yourself. Right. So if you have a marketable tool, you have to market it. Right. And you have to know what you're doing. So, you, you know, study your craft and market your tool. So hence Red's Kitchen Sink. Right. <laughs> yeah. Because a lot of us, everyone has a talent. I mean, it's something that you can do. Um, that can make you earn, um, you know, to add to your income. Mm -hmm. And um, like I said, women are doing it every day now, and um, it's just so much to deal with now. Just um, having to really sit home and um, think about what is it that you can do differently, or not even so much different, uh, but you know, just to bring like an edge to someone else, to something that someone else has created, yes. and make it your um, product sure. or your gift, um, you know, from party planning to um, natural, um, 
everything yeah, part of giving, right. um, books. decorating. Right, right. <laughs> and speaking of decorating people, if you came to my book release party, like the biggest book release party in New Orleans, and you saw the decorations, she decorated my party. Oh my God. She's actually, I call her like the African American Martha Stewart. Yes. <laughs> she knows how to do everything from cooking. I'm like, oh my God, you're just like so gifted. Everything um, from cooking to which, you know, the herbs go with the cooking. And, um, you know, it's really, really nice to be able to just call someone on the phone and say, oh, my God, my throat is hurting. I have a gig. And, you know, I've done that to her a few times. And she's like, oh, go and get some apple cider vinegar or some other kind of vinegar. And I'm like in the store. What did you say I should get? <laughs> yeah. So um, this is like wonderful. And so what do you think about um just the process of feeling good, you know, and um, some of the things we should do in going into entrepreneurship, you know, because there has to be a mind, body, and soul thing. And you have to um, be able to um, just nourish your body. And, um, you know, the world has here is just so much food. Oh, my God. Unlike other places, people, I think, are more into being vegetarian. But New Orleans, I don't know if we're ever going to get with the program. Um, so, you know, what do we ever want it? I know, to change? We, don't we, want we, it. we really don't want it to change. But since you said that, and I don't want to steer away, but there's things that we can do to keep ourselves healthy and slim and, you know, trim. There's things that you can do. I mean, you can go out there and just buy a simple box of flaxseed, flaxseed meal, that is, and you could take two tablespoons per day. Mm -hmm. I mean, Two tablespoons per day of flaxseed meal will give you 600 milli 1,600 milligrams of omega-3 fatty acids. I mean, those things are so important to us. I mean, they help lower cholesterol. They help lower the glycemic index of some sugar sweets. So if you do something simple like that, you know, eating... Um, one one serving of beignets wouldn't hurt me so much. So I love the food here. Right. <laughs> then it's a way that we can cook it. You know, it's the way that we can cook it. We can cook it low fat and have the same um, quality. And hence, you know, that's when you learn how to use herbs and make them work for you. You know, because right. herbs are healers, but you can also make them work for you. And that's where we come in. Right. So what about children? You know, kids now... There's no diet plan. I mean, do you have any suggestions for, um, like, what, what should we do to, you know, little girls, like, you know, from zero to 13. 13, you start getting focused. But is there something that you can do with your daughters or, you know, even sons to tailor, you know, their eating habits when, they're, when they become teenagers? What you have to do is you need to start them off from birth. Um, I didn't give my kids a choice. Um, when they were born, you know, well, through the pregnancy, throughout the pregnancy, you can drink vegetable juices right. and you can eat health, you know, choose healthy choices, celery, apples, carrots, beets. You can eat these things. Um, once your kids get here, don't give them a choice. Like right. a lot of parents, oh, he doesn't like that. You are training your kids and you're trying to shape them and mold them for a world that's really not really caring um, how they're going to turn out. And right. as it turns out today, the diets that the kids are eating are really causing um, dyslexia, um, ADHD, you know, the diets. It's, it's all in the diet. So you have to train your kids. From children, you have to force healthy choices on them and, you know, not really force it, but if they start off young, they're going to gravitate towards it. And then if you didn't start them off young, you know, you give them healthy choices, make beautiful trays. Um, what I like to do is invite a bunch of kids over, have a party, and if it's colorful, that's the rule of thumb, if it's colorful, they're going to like it. Right. So if you put cherry tomatoes, apples, celery, um, broccoli, and a beautiful dip in the center, they're going to like that. Um, fruit, vegetables, all those things are healthy. Chocolate is a healthy choice. <laughs> Actually, chocolate. So I, I make chocolate covered strawberry trees. You know, right. there's so many different things that you can do. When you're out, even McDonald's, um, well, places like that, I don't know if I could say that, but, you know, fast food restaurants are beginning to know that parents are looking for healthy choices, so they're actually adding it to the menu. Right. You can force that by always asking, and if they don't, go somewhere else. Right. But don't give your kids a choice. You know, you have to 
you know, you have to raise a healthy generation. So, I mean, you know, illness costs a lot more than a bag of celery and a bunch of broccoli. So it's easier to just make them, you know, train them. Train right. train up a child and, and then they won't depart and from it. And smoothies are really good. That's my new thing now. Oh, wow. Like, <laughs> making smoothies with everything that I think that I could eat, like with just like so many fruit and then just throw in a vegetable. It's like really, really good. And oh then it's good on you. <laughs> you are gorgeous. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've lost my mind. I'm like the new smoothie queen. Like yeah. I'm like blending up everything. So it really, really works and you're like full and yes. um, you're getting like the water, you know, so it's really, really good. Yeah. And skin, you know, is a, a big thing for um, for us these days. Yeah. So um, we have to like, uh, you know, really look more into um, just beautifying ourselves. Our skin but um, as people say from New Orleans, like people in New Orleans never look their age. So, you know, it's like what's in the water, the hot sausage, <laughs> you know, what what is it? But um, a lot of people here do tend to have like really, really beautiful skin. Um, and if you were to recommend anything for like to have really nice skin. Shea butters. Shea, um, Shea butters, um, anything that will actually block out harmful sun rays. And I know that shea butter blocks out harmful sun rays. I mean, that, that has, you know, that's why we, we built our line around shea. Um, that's like one of the dominant oils. Right. You have to moisturize your skin. Now, the blessing in being in New Orleans is that it's humid here. Right. And skin loves water and moisture. So with the moisture being in the air, you know, people tend to age a lot less here, you know. Yeah. So you won't look your age here because it, it is in the air. The water is in the air. But if you can have a mixture of the shades, the coconut oils, um, then you want to put some herbs in there to kind of give, you know, smooth out the elasticity, keep your elasticity flowing just strong, keep keep it tight. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> so there's all kinds of herbs that do that, astringent herbs, um, the rosemaries, the oreganos, um, herbs like that, and tea tree oil antibacterial herbs also work. So if you put those on your skin, you know, you got to mix them. And, you know, I don't advocate people going out buying essential oils. You might want to buy something that's already formulated, people that know what they're doing, because those things are really strong and they're potent. But they help to shield the skin and, and keep it from breaking down early. And, of course, it starts from the inside out, though. Like we mentioned, smoothies. Smoothies are wonderful. Um, um, keep hydrated. Drink lots and lots of water. Wrinkles hate water, you know. They love the sun. The sun loves right. to create skin damage. But I guess it's the water in the air. Humidity is always like 90, 95% right. here. Yeah. So that saves us a lot. So in the wintertime, when it's less humid, you know, you want to always stay moisturized. If you use a moisturizer with shea butters, always add a little water to your skin first and then put it in because the shea is going to lock in the moisture. Um, you know, the moisture content on your skin. So try it out. It's really good. It's really good. All right. So we're going to get some more beauty tips, some more tips on herbs, some just some tips on how to make us stay looking beautiful. <laughs> From the diva herself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we're going to be right back with Dion Carter, Red's Kitchen Sink, right here. Jazz was created in Louisiana. It's reality, man. Letting people know how you feel. You can't talk about jazz without talking about Louis Armstrong. He's the beginning of it, the middle, and the end of it. I love Frenchman Street. It's like you're being bombarded with this culture. And these guys play with such passion, they make you want to perform. Come check it out for yourself. <laughs> I'm Terrence Blanchard, and this is my Louisiana. Real seniors, real concerns. The economy is my concern. Will we outlive our money? Medication. Rent is really more than some of us can afford. You do without a lot. And nobody comes to tell us what our rights are, what we can fight for. If I get any kind of information that would help other seniors, I would let them know. For information, contact the Senior Citizens League at 1-800-333-8725 or seniorsleague.org. Can you imagine? 
imagine a world without children? A world without their smiles or their laughter. A world where children don't play or sing or dream or imagine. At St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, we can't imagine a world without children. That's why we're working every day to find cures for diseases that strike down children everywhere. Diseases like cancer, pediatric AIDS, and sickle cell. And we won't stop until every child is cured and every disease is defeated. Because we can't imagine a world without children. Can you? Finding cures, saving children. St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. To learn how you can help, call now or log on to our website, stjude.org. Welcome back to Future Focus. I'm your host, Diva Dion Carriter, and my guest today is Dion Carter, and she's um, with Red Kitchen Sink. Oh my God, we've been talking about so many different things to make you feel good in this economy, how um, a lot of us have had to reinvent ourselves and finding that talent that's somewhere within us as we all have one. And Dion's talent has, um, wow, has gone from creating hair products to now, um, it's like a body pudding you have, right? <laughs> oh my God, so tell me about that. Actually, um, we made a curly pudding because we, we do have body meringues, um, lemon drop, and just different flavors that you like to eat, but you put it on your body because the line is edible. I don't believe in putting anything on my skin that I can't eat. So if I can't eat it, I won't use it. And that's the general rule of thumb you know, for my children and everybody I come into contact with that wants some products. The, new, the newest craze that I have is called Cuckabugs. And everything in my line is basically New Orleanian. I'm, I'm New Orleanian. So my mom used to say, comb those Cuckabugs, you know. So right. we call them naps. Right. The, the Cuckabugs curly pudding is a hair pudding that that's really wonderful. Um, it's a gel, it's a pudding, it's a moisturizer, it's all in one. Um, I washed my hair this morning and I put it in and I didn't need to put anything else in my hair. That's what I, that's the way I love waking up. So, right. um, Cuckabugs has a little bit of everything in it. The oils that we like, the, the oils that love us. Right. Like avocado, um, shea, coconut. The same oils we were talking about that help the lock-in moisture. Right. But it's aloe vera based. So we have the aloe and then we add other oils in it that, you know, and herbs that help the hair grow while making it shine and everything. So that is my latest baby. Um, <laughs> Right, and so you actually have a lab at home. Like, oh my God, you actually, I have spoken to her on the phone, people, and she's really putting together all these little different concoctions, and um, I must say that I have tried a lot of it and almost, yeah, all of it, and it's just so wonderful. I love it, which is why I'm like so radiant and blah, 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 yeah, <laughs> and that face are. cream is just like, oh my God, so good, but um, I, one thing about your products is the smell. If you have sinus problems like I do, um, you actually create a smell for um, that's you know where you can breathe in. I'm, I love that about it. So um, and again, it's um, herbs. It's things that we actually take for granted. Mm -hmm. um, the, the that's herbs. yeah, the really simple things. Mm -hmm. So um, I guess that's the nurse in you, like want to create and go in the kitchen, and so you just like wake up and. Put together different things. My mother actually used to call me a little gypsy, and I, and I understand now because I will um, go into the kitchen and I will create. But that's that's just like the gift. Um, I love making things that make people happy. Right. And the reason it smells like that, and it will open up your sinuses a bit, but you love that scent, is because it's pure. Mm -hmm. It's all natural. I don't advocate just using um, the regular fragrances, even though a lot of those are natural and people eat those, but I prefer um, plant fragrances. I mean, I right. grow half the herbs I use. Wow. I have them grown because I love to garden. And being in a garden, you get that smell from the fresh flowers and you just cannot imitate it. So right. you have to use that pure 
right. pure herbs. And to go natural isn't, um, you know, as ex we can do a little at a time natural because, um, you know, you go to the store and natural is really, really expensive these days. But we can almost, um, like you say, start your own garden um, and, and create some natural things within your own life, um, which will make you feel good, rejuvenated as, um, you know, it's 2011 and the market of jobs is crazy right now. Yeah. Um, so that's um, a great asset for another woman who has to cut back on a lot of different things to survive and, um, you know, create other avenues. Yeah. We can just um, tailor, um, you know, different things that are natural and, and grow different um, leaves and plants and um, things that are really healthy for us anyway. And what do you think about, um, that's got to be some kind of prevention for, like we have, you know, um, people have high blood pressure, um, diabetes, and um, what would you suggest, like herbs, like... To prevent? Yeah, not like even to prevent, but just something to, to just... Yeah, something, if nothing is wrong with you, then, you know, what would be something um, that's, like, some great herb that you could just have on a daily basis? The best, the best things that I can recommend for everybody, and I'm not sure what you're allergic to, the first thing you want to do is find out what you're allergic to. You know, you don't want to take anything that you're allergic to. Then look at your history. You know, when you go to the clinics and the doctors ask you for a family history, they're really digging because they want to find out what's in your genes. So if you look back at mom, if you look back at dad, and you know, okay, my dad passed with colon cancer. My mom has diabetes. My dad has diabetes. I mean, we know a lot of these things are passed on. Right. You know, and they're, heredi they, 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 they're hereditary. Yeah. So if you know your father had diabetes and you're a girl, you know, daddy, daughter, most likely you're prone to have diabetes. So, you know, find out what kind he had and start eating to prevent these things. Right. Um, I'm not saying that it's going to help you, but you could try. Like diabetes, um, there's type 1 and type 2 diabetes, right? Type 1 is really where your pancreas is really not putting out the insulin, right? It's not working properly. Type 2, you can kind of work around. Okay, you can train your pancreas. Um, if you know you have a history of it, start eating things like cucumbers. And I know this sounds weird, but <laughs> cucumbers will actually stimulate your pancreas and help help your cells to accept the you know the insulin that your pancreas is putting out. So people with that could actually put cucumbers in the blender or just put three to four cucumbers in your diet a day. That's for the diabetes. Um, Swiss chard, if you have the junior, the type one, Swiss chard, those things will help to stimulate everything and, 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 and just make it work. Make mm -hmm. it work better. Make all those things work together. Swiss chard, start cleaning out your system. Um, simplest things that everybody can do for prevention, garlic and onion and parsley. Those three are the powerhouses. Wow. You know, they're the powerhouses because, you know, the garlic and the onion, they have a lot of sulfur, you know. So sulfur are things that we use now today to, to kind of heal ourselves. They're antibiotics, sulfur antibiotics. I mean, sulfur-based drugs. Um, those things will help ward off. Um, drink alkaline water. You know, you could drink alkaline water with pH of 9, pH of 8.5. Um, there's little things that you could do to help yourself. Cut back on the sodas. Cut back on the sweets, on the refined sweets. Right. Um, I go into people's cabinets sometimes, okay? This is a part of what I do. And when they want to lose weight, you know, the first thing I tell them is, let's switch your sugar and your salt. Let's switch your sugar to a natural, um, you know, evaporated cane juice. And, and those taste just as good as the white refined sugar. Switch your flowers, you know, eat whole grains, switch your rice to brown rice, to jasmine right. rice, things that's gonna help us now. And the best thing out of all everything else, as long as you're cleaning out your colon, you gotta have the bowel movements, and I know that sounds tacky, but if you're having the bowel movements, um, Two a day is preferred, you know. A lot of people say, oh, no, some people don't go every, but every three to four days. Those are toxins that we could clean out of our colon and out of our system. So if we clean ourselves, you know, flaxseed, fiber, fruit. Right. I'm, I'm not really a big advocate on colonics, but I do believe in eating the fiber, the fruits. Um, brown rice, you know, brown flour, um, spelt. Familiarize yourself with grains, arrowroot, amaranth. 
things like that, those kind of things help with longevity. You'll be here longer. Your heart will be better. Right. Um, if you know you're prone to high blood pressure, trim your salt a little bit, but especially change over to sea salt. You know, pure sea salt is better than just the regular table salt. Right. It tastes better and it's better. So one last question, um, as there are so many black women dealing with breast cancer, um, and you know, by the time we find out, you know, people find out they have it, they already have it. So um, or did you have any advice or anything that someone who has, um, you know, breast cancer or something, what they should probably eat or, um, you know, something to rejuvenate their system or, you know, any anything. You ask me how I started. I watched Red, my mother, I watched her battle breast disease. She had it bilaterally on both her breasts. She was scheduled for a surgery on Friday and she didn't go through it. She went to an herbal doctor and she had no surgery and she's fine. She's 70 and she's beautiful. That's why I got my oomph. I wanted to really learn this. So I'm really an advocate because it really um, it's, it's something that runs in my family. You know, we have to deal with these things a lot. And with all the chemicals around and carcinogens, you know, you have to protect yourself. Um, first line of protection, I would say eat a lot of broccoli. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a lot of people don't know, but asparagus is also wonderful. Um, cooked asparagus, add it to your diet. Um, artichokes, add it to your diet. Flounder, add it to your diet. These things help to fight, you know, they give us the antioxidants that's necessary, you know, to fight these things. Um, when, when my mother did it, it was garlic, it was horseradish root, and it was vegetable juice. She also drank bitters to clean out the colon. But it's those things, add fresh fruit to your diet, fresh vegetables, and eat them. Just eat them, eat them, eat them, and they're going to help you. Wow. <laughs> so we have learned so much from such a creative person. I'm so happy that you have stopped by to grace us with your presence after gracing everyone at Essence. <laughs> um, so um, if anyone wants to contact you. Um, we have a 1-800 number, 1-800-893-2803. Um, 1-800-893-2803. We're also available at redskitchensink.com, R-E-D-S-K-I-T-C-H-E-N-S-I-N-K.com. All right. And she's my friend on Facebook. I'm Deanne Carriter. She will be Red's Kitchen Sink. <laughs> and you can find both of us, just in case you have any more questions for me to ask her. Or you can just ask her yourself. So thank you so much. I have learned so much mm, so that you. I can stay all young and beautiful like the women of New Orleans. <laughs> I want to drink from your fountain. <laughs> oh my God, it was such a pleasure.